this is a message to my northern Christian brothers and sisters, specifically for you. Why? Because if you go to the south, south, to the southeast, to the southwest, a Christian from northern part of Nigeria is a northerner. Simple. If there are a breakdown of that, what is in Inugu, they kill everybody, whether a Muslim or Christian, some Muslim, they know. This is the record that is on ground. Nobody can deny this. Christians of northern extraction think wisely, act wisely, behave wisely. You have no business voting a southern candidate based on Christianity. At the end of the day, his agenda is not you. His agenda is his own tribe. If you pick or be, his agenda is not Christianity. He could be a fantastic Catholic. But below the below the of the Catholicism, he is a die-hard Biafra. <coughs> if you vote OB, you are voting for Biafra. No missing of the words. If you vote for Biafra, you are voting for the justification of the North. Tell me, a Christian from Taraba, Nasarawa, Kogi, Kwara, Kaduna, Keb, Sokoto, Bauchi, Gombe. Tell me what you drive, the benefit you drive by voting on. Just tell me one single benefit. And the answer is there is none. If you want to know the answer is true, go to Inugu, go to Aba, go to Inuri, go to Akwa Ebo, go to go 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 to every part of the south. As a Muslim, as a Christian, and ask for a land to build a church. I think the Christianity is supposed to be universal. Go and ask for a land to build a church there as a Muslim, as a Christian from the north. You will never have one. You will never have one. But all over the north here are churches owned by people from where? From the south. The land is owned by them. The church is owned by them. You go to these churches for service. You give the usual weekly type to them. They are eating fat, growing fat on you as Christian brethren belonging to the body of Christ. But if you want to know that you belong to different Christianity, go over there and ask for a land to build a church. <coughs> Not even a mosque. Not even a mosque. Indigenous Muslims in the south now are building mosques and Islamists <coughs> with hard and money, but with a lot of accumulation from government. A lot. We've given them enough accommodation. For the truth is that they are not thinking Nigeria. Or we is not thinking Nigeria hopefully anywhere, any day, any time. And no apology for this. I did very well. And everybody will think, yes. This is a, a WhatsApp sent by Tinibu's group. No, read it out. I want to read that. Everybody can read <coughs> For where you are led. No, no, read for me. Okay. Just, uh, just read that one. Say. You know, but shine your eyes on. If you vote for Kobe, it's automatically voting for C4 in, in South and South and Southeast. The Igbos will stop coming to Lagos State to invest. Rather, they will go to Delta and River State. They may even stop building houses in Lagos. It will affect a lot of Yorubas. This is your context. <laughs> he don't see the value of Malaysia something better. He reads all the confusion. And that's it. And he was about to. I'm not sorry. That's okay. He was about to. That's okay. What is the cause there? I'm giving money. He said, I'm going to invest in the country. I'm giving you money. That's the problem of the country. That's what the rest of the same question. Hey, he will tell you. <coughs> so,
Somebody said to me, this candidate, there were people who fought and fight against us there. So, and even lost everything. All right, great people. All right. I hope every one of you understand these two videos that I just coupled. I don't need to use English because every one of us understand what they are saying. I, I'm, you know, I'm doing this video particularly to those people call themselves South, South and South East. I want you people to understand that Nigeria is not part of you. You are not part of Nigeria and Nigeria is not part of you. I want you people to understand what is playing. You can see it by yourself with your koro koro eyes. And there is no how you can dispute it. That Nigeria is not for you. But some of our people from old eastern region of Biafra, they are forcing themselves to be part of Nigeria. But Nigeria themselves don't want you. That is why they will keep on using our people. That is why they will keep on useless our people. Now, let me introduce myself before I will go in details so that you understand what really play in here. Great people, my great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin and Yopukan, where we always set the record straight. My name is O, Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Bia Franchise Watchneck, the general. I want you people to understand they have begun to practicalize all those questions that you have been asking. I want you people to know this is exactly what happened during 1970. The ending of genocidal war, according to what they said. But we know that they keep on killing our people. The killings of Biafran people started in 1945. Up to date, they are still killing us. But at the end of 1970, they told us that the war have ended. And go one, declare no victor, no vanquish. My question to you now all, do we have victor? Do we have vanquish? That is a question that you begin to ask yourself. And everything is playing and you can understand without any missing words. Now you begin to understand it. After the genocidal war against people of Biafra, they claim that ended in 1970. Gowan come up with his own propaganda. Gowan come up with propaganda. He said that he want to set up three arrows. Reconciliation, rehabilitation, and reconstruction. My question to you all today, where is all these three arrows that Gowan announced with his propaganda? I want you people to understand this. The same thing that happened during that time of Goan is now happening in your eyes. And you can see it without anybody explain. You know, I don't need more explanation on this. But I just couple these two videos together so that you will know the mess that you are into. That you should stop forcing yourself to be part of Nigeria. Because Nigeria them themselves don't want you. Now you understand what a Fulani man is saying. Fulani said... If you vote Peter Obi, you are voting Biafra. That they means that they don't want you even to be there at all. And I want you to let you know that since the amalgamation of that contraption called Damini Buzu, none of our people have been there on that seat. And I want you people to know they know what they are doing. Don't think that they don't know. Because you are not part of them. They just want to useless us. They just want to suck us and milk us dry. And we will be crying. They will keep on knocking on our head to tell us, and they will tell us to stop talking. Or when we are crying, they will knock us on the head, tell us to stop crying. I want you people to understand that the full animal said, if you vote for P2B, you vote for Biafra. And now when you come in the West, they are telling you that if you vote P2B, that means that you will have seaport, you will have airport, you will have infrastructure. 
and they are working tirelessly to make sure that this thing never come to be for people but my own you know why i'm feeling somehow it's like you know all this thing that these people are saying is something that we have already known that is the reason why they want you to go away from your land so that you can help them to develop their land at the same time they will be telling you to go back to your land after they have turned your land to desert and you have forgotten also that the main resources of that contraption called Aminebu Zoo is coming from our land this my message today is particular to those so called south south and southeast of course we know that we are all biafran people they have already divided us and they are still ruling us today but i want you people to understand that you see all this thing that is playing there is no how it can stop after you will leave your land and go to west and go to north and develop it Tomorrow they will begin to tell you that we, 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 we intermarried. They will tell you that we have been coexist for a long time. Because they don't want you to stay in your land. They don't want you to develop it. They want you to come to their land. At the same time, they will begin to use it against you. That you should leave their land and go to your place. And as far as you have developed it, now you, are be, you, are, you will begin to find it so difficult to move back to your land. I want you people to know that what happened in 1970 after the end of genocidal war against Biafran people is still happening today. They don't want you to have any government presence in that contraption, Damini Buzu. They don't want Biafran people to have a government presence in their land. They don't want it. And it's high time that our people will begin to reason and understand the mess that we are into so that we can be able to buckle our belt and embark on this journey of Biafran Restoration Project. I am telling you people, only Biafra can save all of you. All these things that you people are asking, only Biafra can give it to you. But if you remain in Nigeria, you will keep on suffering. All these things that they are benefiting the North and the West, you can never find anyone. You can't. And they are ready to use the willing tools, which is also our people, to accomplish their mission and is there already hope who's already is there doing their bits all of them they are there so this is what i bring to you today my great people and i hope every one of you understand the point no too much explanation i don't need to talk too much but i hope with your right senses you will understand these two videos that i coupled if you don't understand i want you to go back and listen to it again listen to it again good day and welcome